This is one of the cheapest stepper motors you can find. I bought five of these with driver boards for under £12. That's just £2.40 each. But they have a couple of drawbacks. The driver board requires four I.O. pins to work, making it difficult to control lots of them. And there's no current control, and they also generally have very low torque. Let's take one apart, see how it's made and what simple modification we can make to increase the power. These stepper motors have a step angle of 11.25 degrees, 32 steps per revolution, but they come with a gearbox built in. Here we can see the gearbox has four reduction stages, and the gear ratios are 3 to 1, 3 to 1, 2 to 1, 3.55 to 1, for a total reduction of 64 to 1, giving a whopping 2048 steps per revolution at the gearbox output. There are five connections to the motor and two centre tapped coils. The red wire is the common connection which connects to both centre coil connections. The blue and yellow wires are opposite ends of the lower coil and the orange and pink wires are opposite ends of the upper coil. Let's look at one coil to understand how it works. Each coil has a set of teeth that extend from the top and bottom of the coil. The centre of the coil is connected to the red wire. Let's assume this is always connected to 5 volts. Now if we connect this end of the coil to 0 volts, it will generate a magnetic field, which we will assume is north on the top of the coil and south on the bottom. This field will travel through the toothed plates and create alternating magnetic poles present on the teeth. If we connected the other end of the coil, the magnetic field will be reversed, and therefore the magnetic poles present on the teeth will also be reversed. As per my previous video, we want to drive this in full step mode. To do that, the coils need to be able to be fully energised and therefore separated. We can do that easily by breaking this connection on the circuit board of the motor. Here I'm using a 2.5mm drill bit and just turning it with my fingers to drill through the copper trace. There is an easier way to do this without disassembling the motor that I will show later in the video. Now to see if the motor works when connected to a DRV8825 driver. It does, and it takes 32 steps per revolution. Let's reassemble the motor and see how much torque it can produce and compare it to an unmodified motor. Here I have the same setup as my last video. The distance from the output shaft of the motor to the contact on the scales is 100mm. Let's look at the performance of the stock unmodified motor first. The motor is connected to the ULN2003 driver that it came with. At 5 volts, it's drawing 340 milliamps, or about 1.7 watts of power. It can produce a very measly 33 grams of force, 32 millinewton meters, which is very close to the stated 34 millinewton meters of torque. It runs at about 50 degrees centigrade. Now for the modified version. I'll overlay all the test information on the video. This is 3.6 times the torque of the standard motor and 30% less power consumption and it still operates at the same temperature. This is 6 times the torque of the standard motor but 40% more power consumption and it runs at about 72 degrees.
Now the easy way to modify these motors is to mark the circuit board cover approximately 4.5mm up and 8mm across which should be central as shown. Take the 2.5mm drill bit and by hand drill through the plastic cover and break the connection on the circuit board. You can verify the circuit connection is broken by checking there is no continuity from the red wire to blue or yellow. If you want you can seal the hole in the plastic case with hot milk glue. If you're going to buy these motors then please be aware that the gearboxes do have some backlash. It does seem to vary from motor to motor slightly but on one of mine it could produce a deflection of 7mm at 100mm from the axis which is a whopping 4 degrees of backlash. Thank you very much for watching, if you liked it please consider subscribing and the algorithm thinks you'll like to watch this video or this video. See you next time.